We've got the Phillies and D-backs. We're picking things up in the top of the fourth where it looks like we already know who's going to win this game as it's a Kyle Schwarbaum off Mad Bum, and it's going to be a 7-0 Phillies lead, so it looks like they're just running away with this already in the top of the fourth. Mad Bum had no answers for them, but then it's going to be Stone Garrett, the rookie. He was called up not too long ago. He's going to put some runs on the board, so all of a sudden it's 7-2. It's the bottom of the fourth right here, so a 7 nothing lead that could go a long way and we almost never see comebacks from there but now it's going to be Carson Kelly from the leadoff spot with the bases loaded and two outs clutch hits like this are how comebacks happen Corbin Carroll you see him scoring a run here it was his MLB debut and that was a highly anticipated debut so it's 7-6 then all of a sudden it's 7-7 bottom of the fifth and Corbin Carroll he got on base and scored earlier but now his first big league hit is going to be a memorable one a two run double the D back scored six runs in the fourth six runs in the fifth so that's 12 unanswered runs first time in franchise history that they put up six runs in back-to-back -back innings and Corbin Carroll some people regard him as a top five maybe even three prospect in all of baseball he's got all the tools you need he came up and he's getting it done right away he got on base a couple times once because of his speed and then a two-run double to give the team the lead after Philly went up 7-0 so there is some fight in this D-backs team, a D-backs team that has a very exciting farm system which could lead to a very exciting future. It's good to see them fighting like this even in games where it might be a lost season but you get to see some guys like Corbin Carroll make his debut and a seven-run comeback go down.